Alright, hello everybody. So this tutorial will we will be adding bones to this hat. Let's see, we want this uh, part to like jiggle to move. Obviously, this is not gonna move without any bones. And yeah, without any bones, you won't be able to attach this to anything either. Anyway, how to add bones? Now we go to our add armature single bone. We get this big bone, which is in a whole new uh, armature. Just select them both and Control G. J. Uh, yeah, Control G. And this will attach the bone with the armature that we're going to be working on. Uh, I'm just going to do flat 2D, which is, if you click here, you'll be in 2D mode. It, it will be better to align. Uh, something like this is good. Now, if you go from the front, it is dead center of the hat. That's good. Yeah. Uh, now to do this bone to this to the hat, we want to name the hat to root hat or something. Uh, uh, copy the name. So Control C, the copy, and then we go back to object mode. Go to this. Upside down Illuminati sign, and we go to group and Control V. Just double click to rename, and we rename it to hat. So when you're done with that, you press Tab to go to edit mode. Now you, all right. You put this on so it's blue. You press C to get the circle. And then you highlight what you want this bone to move. So this uh, whole group is going to move with this root. This uh, group is assigned to this bone. So this bone is going to move this group that I've highlighted when I click Assign. When I click Assign, this is gonna happen, as you see. <sighs> Everything that I've highlighted is now moving with the bone. This is why all this stuff is still here. Mm. Now, obviously, we don't want to uh, have this bone control everything, because if you want to have physics like my ear, and my hair is like, you know, bending in like different, or bending in each section. You want like a bone like this, maybe a bone here and a bone here. But yeah, uh, let's go back to edit mode. Click on the bone and press E. It will extend out a new bone. And then, uh, let me get just go in flat mode, it would be better. Boom. And then maybe like this, for example. Alright, so grab our second bone. Copy the bone. Go to object mode. Click on the body. Add a new group. Double click. Boom. Now we got our 001, which is what it's going to be named when you extend the bones, but you can rename it yourself to what you want, it doesn't matter. <coughs> you can put whatever. Alright, so next thing we do is uh, I'll go back to edit mode now. Uh, I'm gonna stay in 2D mode. So we go here. 
our we go to our group the new one we select a new section that we wanted to move there we go and now we go to our old old bone deselect it's going to deselect all of the all of this group basically and then we're going to click assign on our new bone assign so now this this bone is going to move this and this bone is going to move this <laughs> so the whole thing this, this is why this is like the root and these are uh, the children of this parent the, um, this is going to move the, all of it, obviously, because this is the first bone. Uh, Alright, so for the next bone, it's going to be the exact same thing. So yeah, copy the name, go back to object mode, click on the upside down triangle. Boom. There you go. Go back to edit mode. Select the new section. Go back to the old bone. Deselect the old bone. And assign the new. And there you go. Now your hat has all of this. Yeah, so I'm gonna see you in Unity for a little demonstration test. See ya, see you soon. <clears throat> yeah, hey, uh, so we're back with Unity now for testing. Now, if you just want to see how I do it, it's the VRAM part. So, for VRAM, this is my settings, and I use the second bone, not the first bone, the second bone. So we don't have this moving. Also don't want this jiggling. We want this part jiggling. So yeah. Uh oh. No. Don't want to move that. We want to move the actual outer. And now as you see it jiggles. Now if you're doing dynamic bones for VR chat. I'm going to disable the spring bone. So yeah now. As I'll see there's no jiggle. I have dynamic bone set up right here. If you're using dynamic bone, this is for mostly VR chat users and I don't know if there's any game developers watching me, but yeah. Uh as you see, now hat moves just fine. Jiggle jiggle jiggle. Yeah? And this is my settings for my hat that I use. So, yeah. Thanks all for watching. Hope to see you in the next tutorial that I'll be doing. Thank you all. Bye-bye. And also watch my streams too. So, yeah. Everything will be in the description.